Um, we call him Whack Run Hunted. Uh, he out here defending them. So, you know, we definitely had to get the truth from you and, um, you know, hear from your side and your perspective of what's going on. So, you know, let them know about what you got going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I heard you said you had a a, a video and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you know, that's that's irrelevant, money. That's that rap shit. I'm not worried about okay. that. I'm only addressing this shit. I'm only really, you know, I don't really be doing this. It's my first time on Clubhouse. I don't really be doing this social media shit like that, man. But I'm going I'm to address this. You feel me? Because the only reason why I'm addressing what Blue said is because he, first of all, he got my name in his mouth on the interviews and he being disrespectful at the same time. He might have could have got past if he wasn't so disrespectful. But I'm going to keep it 100. You feel me? So that, that song you just played, you know, that was that was actual true story. All this shit. First of all, let me let me explain to you. Me and Blue were definitely friends. You know, that was like my little brother. You know, I ran around the country with him. I did this whole BMF tour with him. Me, six of my bitches, and BMF hit the road for two and a half months and ran all over this country from Detroit, California, Miami, and back. And at the end of the tour, well, while we was on the tour is when Blue Indictment came out. Literally, it was when his indictment came out while we was on the tour. So we ended the tour in the Bay Area, which is where I'm from. And when we ended the tour in the Bay Area, we sent the tour bus back to L.A. and Blue and several members from BMF came to my house and stayed at my house, my man. And for an extensive time, let's just say that. And uh, so me and Blue was real close. That was my bro. We ran all over. We did all type of shit. He was up under my movie at that time. And uh, when brought up with, which is uh, we was in Vegas. We was in Vegas. We finally went to jail. We was in Vegas. It was a uh, Magic Weekend when the feds got on Blue uh, Magic Show. And uh, when he went to jail, he called me. I go jump on a plane and go visit Blue in Atlanta. They, they transport him to Atlanta. I go visit. That's how much I fuck with him. Go visit him in the jail, do all the shit. So, the day Blue got his time, the day Blue got his time, Blue called me. Like he always do. What's up, bro? I just got my time today. Okay, what they end up giving you? They gave him five years. I'm like, okay. He was like, yeah, they gave me my safety valve, all the shit. Woo, 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 right? So, now, here I am, like, safety valve. Wow. You know, I know what a safety valve is, so I'm trying to figure it out, first of all. But not five minutes into that conversation, I get another phone call. The phone call is from Baby J, BMF. Baby J say, Diggs, I got Meech on the phone. Meech want to talk to you. I say, click him in. Mind you, I got blue on the other line. Meech click in on this line. Meech come right in, Diggs. What's up with it, bro? Woo -woo. He say, you know Blue went to court today, right? I say, yeah, I know. He say, look, I love Blue like he a little brother. But Blue was a rat bastard. Them was his exact words. I didn't change not one word. Them was his exact words out of Big Meat's mouth. So, of course, I froze up like, oh, woo. what's going on? What do you mean, Meach? So he say, period, point blank. Look, Blue took a downward departure deal, safety valve, blah, blah, blah. Nobody in my crew on that level that Blue was on took that deal. Okay? So, I click back over to Blue. They tell me, say, you can tell Blue. I click back over to Blue and tell Blue exactly what me said. Hey, Blue, I got me on another line. Me just called you a rat bastard. So, Blue said, oh, no, no, I ain't told on nobody. I ain't woo -woo 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 this. Woo -woo -woo. So, I'm going back and forth with Blue and Meach over this, uh, this whole situation with him calling him a rat bastard. Now, Meach never once said that Blue got on the stand and pointed nobody out and did none of the shit. Meach's biggest thing at that time was Blue debriefed. Now, anybody that know anything about the feds know that if you take a safety valve, which was Blue deal, he already said he'd take a safety valve. He took a safety valve. If you know what a safety valve is, and I'm, I'm going to read to you, right? There's five things in a safety valve to, in order to get a safety valve. Now, I'm going to read this straight from the safety valve paper. It says, no one was harmed during your offense. The person has little or no history of criminal conviction. The person did not use violence or a gun. The person is not the leader or organizer of defense. And the last one, the person told the prosecutor all he knows about sentencing, blah, 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 right? So basically, it's all about you got to, when you go debrief, you got to sit down in a room. And they're going to ask you a series of questions, right? 
it's up to them to determine if for them to go back to the judge and say, hey, judge, give him his safety valve. He told us enough information. OK, you don't have to necessarily get on a stand and say uh, or, or, or go in a room and say, I bought dope from so and so. I did this. I did that. Debriefing, they might ask you, hey, what's your name? What crew you in? Who the leader of the crew? OK, what position do he do? What do this do? OK, what about stash houses? What is this? How did the stash houses work? So you, you understand what I'm saying? So you're debriefing. You're telling them all about how your system works, how your crew works, and how your crew moves. That was Meech's problem. Now, now I'm going to tell you something else. Blue mentioned the uh, limo. He said Meech was mad about the limo. When Meech called me, he wasn't mad about the limo. We knew about the limo. The limo came up. Now, it, uh, but the problem was he debriefed. He went and sat down with the government. If you hear him in his interviews, he said it. He went and said the feds came and got him. He was young, 20-some years old, his first case, and they took him in his room. Now, my thing is, WAC 100 keeps saying, well, where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? Let me tell y'all something about the federal government, my nigga. You can't look up a safety valve on the internet. It's not public information. Okay? It's called a safety valve. It's because it's for your safety. Unless they have to open up the valve and bring you into the courtroom. And you got to tell it all. Spill it all. You get it? Safety valve. You're safe unless we need you to come testify in court. So, Blue took a safety valve where he went and he debriefed. Now, if Blue want to clear all this shit up. There's one way to clear it up. Because Wack keeps saying get the paperwork, right? Well, the fact is Blue is the only person that can get that paperwork. He can get that transcripts. He can get the audio transcripts and the, and the, uh, and the paper transcripts of his time that he spent in the room with them people debriefing. That's all. If he do that, That'll tell what he said and why they gave him five years for conspiracy to sell how many hundreds of kilos, whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> so with that being said, that's what I tell Wack to tell Blue. Tell Blue to get the transcripts from his debriefing. That's all he need. That'll tell it all. Nobody ever said Blue took got the stand. Nobody ever said Blue pointed the finger and said, I, I bought dope from him. That wasn't the issue. The issue was Blue debriefed on his crew. And if you know what debriefing means, that's a form of letting them know what's going on inside your organization. That's telling. Simple as that. Damn, damn. That's, yeah, that's deep. That's deep. So why do you think Wack is going so hard to defend him, though? I, well, you know, so, so first of all, Blue, blue, blue pleading a good case, and I understand his case. You know, like that was my bro. I didn't want to hear it either. I didn't want to believe it and all the shit. His thing is, blue whole thing is I didn't tell on nobody. You get it? I didn't tell on nobody. But that was never the issue when Meach called him a rat, is that I didn't tell him that you told on somebody. He said nobody on that level in my crew took that deal to go debrief. So when Blue making his his mark with Wack, he pulled out, he, he telling Wack, you know, look, man, let me show you. Woo -woo. And Wack, like he said, he from the paperwork, and there ain't no paperwork that says Blue told on nobody. But there's plenty of paperwork that said Blue debriefed. So all he has to do is ask for the debriefing paperwork. We can't get that. It's not like the state. The state, you can go online and get anything public information. The feds have a safety valve. That's to keep niggas safe to tell. You understand? It's a safety valve unless we need to bring you in to testify you're safe. Won't nobody even know about this. Get it? 